What's up, superhero? Superman Adam 100 here. Here we go. This is it, the first vlog with the new camera. This is my new Sony HD. But I probably won't be able to see my reflection. But the least I can do is show you guys a reflection of what the camera looks like. Yeah, doesn't look that good. There's a lot on here. There's a lot of good stuff on here. Right now I'm actually trying to hold it down low. So that I don't like... Jumble it around as much so that the camera's not like all shaky like this. One thing I like, the quality, the quality on this camera is stunning. It's absolutely amazing. Um, this is actually a, this is a HD camera. So I think a lot of my uh, videos can be in high definition HD now. Now here's the thing, I don't have a problem with like holding the camera myself because if I did I wouldn't be doing this. But I would love for there to be a way where I won't have to hold the camera by myself so much, you know? One thing I don't really like about this camera is that most cameras when you record they'll tell you how long you've been recording for however this camera doesn't have the count so I won't be able to know how long I've been recording for until the end of the video So now I have two video cameras and my cell phone that has a camera. So I now have three different ways to record videos. I have this camera that I'm using right now. I have the camera that my girlfriend gave me for my birthday. And then I have this. I have my cell phone, which has a front and a back camera. So basically, like, if I have to get a vlog out and I want to do, like, a walking vlog and this camera's dead, I can use the one my girlfriend gave me. If that camera's dead, I'll use this one. And if both, the ca and if both of these cameras don't really have that good of a charge on it during the time that I have to actually get a vlog out, I'll use my phone. I'm not in any shade right now. Oh, I want to think I'm like peeping through the window. I just want to stand in the shade really quickly, show you guys some stuff. So I can actually take my hand out. My hand's getting a little sweaty. So here we go. I can actually change the settings while I'm recording. Right now I have it on pop color. Let me go over to a different setting really quickly. So this is with no picture effect at all. No picture effect at all. This is what it looks like. It's just normal. This one's supposed to make it look like it's recording on a toy camera, but it actually sort of just looks the same as before. So there's that. There's the one I just had it on, which is pop color. It says create lively images by emphasizing the color so this is pop color which makes the colors pop out and makes it a lot more like high def this one I will never find good use for 
but this one is moisturized. It's this create high contrast abstract images, but this is just moisturized uh, posterization, which is supposed to make it look like it's like a poster picture. This is retro photo, create images like an aged photograph. It's supposed to make it. I guess it's supposed to look like it's like on like a Polaroid or camera or something. Uh, create soft, bright, and transparent images. It's a soft, high key. Then there's... What's this one? Partial color. And this one's just... This is black and white. And then there's this. This is the high contrast mono. Which is actually really black and white. There we go. So we go back here. Get it back on pop color. Okay. Slip my hand back in. Let's go on. So I figured what better way to start off with the new camera than by just doing a little walking vlog and Showing you guys the scenery and everything around me. Show my shoes. And it is hot. Okay. It's hot today. Then again, I shouldn't already be I should have already been prepared for this long ago because I know how it is in the summer. Um not in June. What June is just like just the beginning, so it's not as bad. If I had to guess the the worst month for summer. Which is like where the, the weather is like really hot and humid and bad is August. Um, July is not really, July is not all that good either, but August, August summer is just horrible. T today is actually pretty bad for me. Not too bad, but I don't really like when it's like humid like this. The good thing is that it's windy, so they got the got a nice breeze. Going one-handed on my phone right now. I want to ask Google, what's the weather for Parlin, New Jersey? Okay, Google. Parlin, New Jersey weather. Not that bad, actually. It's 84. Oh, great. Tomorrow's going to be 99. I mean, oh, God. Why did I say that? That's going to be horrible. That'd, that'd be horrible. Tomorrow's going to be 92. I wasn't even prepared for today. I'm definitely not prepared for tomorrow. The thing is, another thing I like about this camera is it's wide angle. So I don't have to worry about things being cut off. And uh, one of the things I didn't like about that cyber, that Sony cyber shot that I had, is that I could, I wasn't able to see myself, like to be able to see if I was in focus. But now, I just go, boom! I got a viewfinder. I have a viewfinder on this camera. So now I can see myself, I can see if I'm in focus, I can see if stuff is cut off or not. I can see if I'm too close, see if I'm too far. And the one thing, one thing that I do now is that this, I gotta look, I gotta look here. Now look at the viewfinder, if I look at the viewfinder my eyes are just crazy. I gotta look here at the lens. Okay, get a nice sound there. Let's look it back around. So these are... So things have been sort of slow. Um,
have been sort of slow the past couple of days. It is now, uh, this is now one week, one whole week since I have graduated from high school, since I am no longer a high school student. But three biggest things I've always been wondering about is uh, that I've been hoping for is to is to graduate from high school, either get a job or go to college, and then slowly but surely find a way to be able to move out and move on on my own. And I've almost, I've done all those things except the the one the two the three that I just said. Get a job, or go to college. Get a job and or go to college and move out. I do I do see myself moving out eventually. Not that I don't like living at home. I don't have a problem, you know, living at home with my folks, living at home with my parents. I don't have a problem with that. It's just two things. One, I don't want to continue to be like too much of a burden on my mother. One, I want her to be able to have her own time. And two, I definitely don't want to be like, you know, 21, 22 years old. Granted, a minor, since I'm a minor, I do have to stay with my parents until I'm 21. But I don't really want to see myself for like 21, 22 years old still living with my parents, you know? Oh, now that I'm in front of a car, I'll show you a, a shadow of what the camera looks like. This is what it looks like. It's blue. That's a Sony Handycam. Shoots in high definition. It has a whole bunch of cool filters that I can use. I think the one I will definitely be using the most is the one that it's on right now. I'm using Pop Color. So a little thing about McJugger Nuggets, uh, I guess. Uh, for those of you who are subscribed to McJugger Nuggets, like myself, if you watched yesterday's video, I guess. Um, I guess our time with Isaac is done. big giant dirt pile that's always been there oh by the way really quickly I'm gonna come over here to this little this little scenery this little area over here It is really hot right now. And being, with it being hot outside, being out in the, being in the sun definitely doesn't help. So I'm in the sun right now and it's really not helping out much. Ah, fuck. You guys like my camouflage shorts? On top of that, these shorts are very loose so it feels like my pants are falling down. Where? Aww, it's uh, it's not up anymore. Oh well, it's it's not up anymore. But over there, right over there, where I'm point, where where I'm zoomed in right now, is uh, where the flag was. In um, FPS Adam and FPS Adam Two, right over that house I just showed was where the flag was. I sort of dwell on the two things I said before. Do I see myself moving out? Yeah. Yes, I do. I just see myself moving out eventually.
Do I see myself getting a job? Yes. I do see myself getting a job somewhere. I actually, I see myself somewhere in like somewhere near my house, like near my house we got places like we got Wal we got a uh, Walmart, there's like there's Walmart and then there's GameStop, Subway, Five Guys, the Radio Shack, and then there's KFC. We got Petco, Dollar Tree, and we got Petco, Dollar Tree, there's a couple of other stores, Payless, Marshalls, and stuff like that. So I, I definitely see myself at one of those jobs, it's just that it's near my house, I don't have to go out far. And if I get a job now, I'll probably have to find a way to get like transportation and all that because I don't have a car because I don't have my license. Actually, a good thing now that I'm 18, I can get my state ID. So, pretty soon, I'm going to be going over to uh, the local motor vehicles to get my state ID. I've never gotten my passport. I want to be able to get my passport so I can like go somewhere. But I definitely want to be able to go to other places outside of New Jersey. Like Switzerland or something like that. And that's not like a <laughs> McJugger Nugget Psycho Series reference where Psycho Kid went to Switzerland after he killed his father. That that's, that's not what I'm talking about. It's nothing like that. See, my nieces are still here. They've been here for about a, maybe a week or so now. See, I love it. wide angle I love the wide angle I'll show you guys something. If I can find what I posted on Instagram a few days ago. Put it somewhat look through correctly. And follow me. Okay, follow me back. Oh, here it is. It popped up. So that's my girlfriend. That's a picture of my girlfriend. Her name is Mackenzie. We've been dating since June 9th. And she actually 
she watches my videos. She watches my YouTube videos. I asked her if she's seen some of my YouTube videos, and she said yes. She said that, yes, she has seen some of them, so. Hopefully she doesn't have a problem with me, like, showing her. I do, I do plan on getting her in a video with me sometime soon. Yeah, I plan on getting her in a video with me sometime soon and do like a girlfriend tag or something like that. Maybe I'll find like a a list somewhere of like girlfriend tag questions and just read from that list. I'm mostly trying to stay out of the out of the sun so I don't get too hot. So I'm mostly trying to stay in the shade. And I've been taking showers every other day. I'm definitely gonna have to start taking showers every day now. Because I come outside and I sweat and I come outside, I sweat, and I do all that. And then I go back inside and just like wallow in my own sweat and stink, you know? And that's not very hygienic. You know? So anyway, I mean, anyways, I don't know. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I almost kept up that accent. But if I was one of the British YouTubers, this is what my accent would sound like. <laughs> this is what I would sound like if I was a British person. Hello. Oh. I'm actually kind of glad that I'm not... British. I actually heard a, a British accent for pretty basically the first time ever in my life a few months ago. Um, I've, 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 I'm subscribed to some um, I'm actually subscribed to some British YouTubers like I'm um, Amazing Phil Dan is not on fire Marcus Butler You know I'm subscribed to those guys I say Dan is not on fire even though that's not his channel name anymore. Um, that's been his channel name since the beginning and uh, just recently a few months ago he changed it to Daniel Howell. I almost lost my mind the day that he uploaded the video. Announcing that he changed his channel name because I look because I looked into my subscription box 
and I didn't even I didn't even read the title I just automatically looked at the thumbnail and the thumbnail was just him making this very serious face and it says R.I.P. Dan is not on fire 2009 to 2017 and I freaking lost my mind and my heart dropped because I thought that was like him announcing the end of his channel but then I looked at the, the title and it wrote and said R.I.P. Dan is not on fire and then in parentheses he put I'm not dead and then turns out it was just him announcing that he changed his, his channel name to Daniel Howell and that the name of the channel wasn't going to be Dan is not on fire anymore well because of me being a nosy little shit I'm going to go see what this note on the door is That, that's a person saying for um, the male people not to leave the, the packages outside on the porch to open up the door and put them in the hallway. I'm gonna record for a few more few more minutes, but just a, just a little bit more, and then once I get over by my house, then. I'll go ahead and shut the camera off and then get this onto my computer and upload it, you know? There's been, trust me, there's been plenty of times before where I've recorded on one of the many cameras that I've had so far. There's been plenty of times I've recorded on it and then I wasn't able to find a way to get them onto the computer and actually had to delete them and do a different vlog. There's been a numerous amount of times where that's happened. Uh, my camera has a very good charge on it. It's got full bars right now because like even after it was done charging, I left it plugged in for like an hour. Yeah, I left it plugged in for like an hour after it was done charging because I wanted it to be able to have a good charge so I can uh, record a somewhat long video without having to worry about the camera dying on me. So I want you... I'm going to give you two things to click like for. Give this video a thumbs up if you think I should make more vlogs with this camera, and I definitely will. And also, since we're in the topic of, um, since, since we were on the topic of FPS Adam and FPS Adam 2 a few minutes ago, click like if you think I should do FPS Adam 3. And if this video gets enough likes, I'll do FPS Adam 3, but I'll do it on my phone. If this video gets some likes for me to do FPS Adam 3, then I'll either do I'll either do it tomorrow or I'll do it much later on and that'll be today's bonus vlog. So let's see. The first FPS Adam for, every, for for the FPS Adams, I want to try to make every one that I do somewhat longer. So the first FPS Adam was 
22. No, not 22. The first FPS Adam, which I did in June of last year. I did it about a year ago. That one was 26 minutes long. And the most recent one, FPS Adam 2, that I did in February was 33 minutes long. So any time longer than 33 minutes is how long FPS Adam 3 will be. FPS Well, I know that FP means first person But I thought that the S in FPS Was actually because of the S In person Turns out I found out from my friend Tyler from my YouTube pal Tyler McKnight That the S and FPS actually stands for shooter. So this whole time I'm over here thinking I'm calling it first person Adam. I've actually been calling it first person shooter Adam. But it doesn't matter, I'm still sticking with FPS. FPS Adam 3. Plus because I don't think FP would make sense. Like FP Adam doesn't sound, that sounds weird to me. FPS Adam sounds sounds the, the right way. Just to get home to you. So a couple of days ago, I, I pulled a little joke on my mom by telling her that I was bisexual. And the joke behind it is the fact that I'm not bisexual. I think that's a girl that goes to my school. But that goes to my old school because that's that's not my school anymore because I'm out. I'm gone. And but in my old high school, we are the bombers. And I'm always I'm always going to be the bomber. The the motto of our school is once a bomber, always a bomber. And I was a bomber for four years. I've been a bomber for four years. I've thought of myself as a bomber for the past four years. And even though I've graduated, I do still consider myself a bomber. I may have graduated and moved on, but I will always be a part of the bomber family. I will always be a bomber. And the reason why it's called War Memorial, the reason why it's called Sayreville War Memorial High School is because our school actually has several memorials set up around the house, set up around for, um, war veterans that were actually students in the school once that were actually once students in our school I think the oldest one I've seen so far is one that was a part of uh in the class of, I think it was 1951. I think it was, yeah, it was about 1951 or so. 
I saw one that was the uh, Cerebral High class of 1951. That was a war veteran that died. And it, it didn't become War Memorial High School, War Memorial High School until they actually decided to start putting the the war memor the war memorials around. Before that, actually, long before I was a member of that school, and long before it became a war memorial, it was just called Sayreville High School. And it's not, it wasn't just for veterans that were dead. It was mostly veterans that were, that were a part of the school that, that had passed away. But also like people that are in the war, that were once a part, that actually graduated from the school, that are still in the war. Like I saw one dude from the class of 2003 that's actually still in the war right now. Go ahead and get over onto this side. Because my complex is coming up. Right now, I'm in front of building 24, and I'm in 21. I actually had a slip up in one of my older videos. It's not on my channel anymore. One of my older videos, one of the videos I recorded back in my old house was like five hours long. where I accidentally leaked my address. I had like like I had like my address written down on a piece of paper and I accidentally like showed it to the camera and revealed that my address was uh, 2 Dolan Avenue in South Amboy, New Jersey. I can say it now because I don't live there so no one will show up to come find me. I still see my address right now. My address is, um, no, <laughs> never. I would never say it. I'm not gonna have some freaking stalker fan showing up to my house. <laughs> Trying to come get me or something. There's already enough people that have problems with that. One of them being you sort of somewhat could have guessed it, Big Jug Nuggets. Twenty-two. So let me go over by this part really quickly. There's a big open field part over here where I could sort of just like loop around and it could bring me right to the front. Or right over by like the side of my old house so I don't have to walk all the way or have to keep walking all the way. Let me show you. Talking about, see this path that I'm walking right now? Right now I'm in front of, right now I'm in the the building 22 area right there is the beginning of 23. I'm gonna get sunburned eventually. I was actually surprised. The one thing I was surprised about was the fact that I didn't get sunburned during my graduation because I was sitting in the sun for two hours at my graduation. I'm like going like this because my shoulder hurts.
Ah, hold on, I gotta stop. Uh, I'm in the shade right now. Uh, uh, okay, I'm in the shade right now. The breeze feels so good. Penny board. If only I knew how to skateboard. Trampoline. So I'm walking this path. Walking the path. Up, oh, up, oh, boom. Right here. This is my spot. This is my complex. And I think that's going to wrap up for today. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the very first vlog with the new camera. Thank you for watching. If you would like to subscribe, please do. If you don't want to, then of course you don't have to. And this is the penultimate video for June 2016. Penultimate means second to last. I say penultimate because tomorrow is the official final video for June 2017 because tomorrow's June 30th so it's the end of June actually I want to say some words my hands is really sweaty from holding the camera I want to say some words really quickly it's not that I really have a problem with holding the camera myself but I do want to try to somewhat see if I can look into getting a cameraman and I actually actually I don't really have to look into get I don't actually have to look into I'm like trying to get one because I already know one person that I want to be my cameraman I I somewhat trust this guy it's one of my friends I think he'd make a good cameraman especially going over to his house on Saturday because he's having uh, he's having his graduation party on Saturday so I'm gonna bring this over to him on Saturday and then we'll let him take the camera from me and record me and stuff you know see how he is so yeah and also do I see myself going to college not really not anytime soon my, my school life is done and I like it that way love you guys see you tomorrow <laughs>